Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, it is all about teaching you how to create different types of print-on-demand designs using Canva. I focus primarily on t-shirts, but you can use these techniques for any different types of products that you want. And I try to go over different styles of trending designs or things that are appropriate for the season. So if this is something that you're interested in, if you're new to print on demand or new to using Canva, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create this design right here. It says, chillin' with my gnomies, and it has three different uh, garden gnomes that kind of have a beach style to them, and one of them's holding a little sign that says beach. Um, again, another really popular trend that I've noticed has been garden gnomes. So in different styles, different, you know, um, settings, so, I mean, this is kind of like a beach theme, but I've seen it done for different holidays, such as St. Patrick's Day and Christmas, Halloween. I've also just seen it done in terms of just like different seasons, some winter gnomes versus like some summer or spring gnomes. So there's a lot of different ways you can go with this. This one says, chilling with my gnomies. I've also seen hanging with my gnomies. And of course you could trade that out for almost anything you wanted. You could do bowling with my gnomies. So there's a lot of different ways that you can go with this style of design. Um, this is just the one I'm gonna show you today. Canva does have a lot of graphics of different styles of gnomes. So it's a pretty easy design. Just kind of wanted to show it to you. And I did have somebody ask me about how I make these mock-ups. I do have a mock-up video, but if you didn't see it, this is real simple. I just made this with Canva and this is just my design that I had saved and I just literally put it in front of a shirt backdrop. Now Canva has a lot of mock-ups that you can look for. So if you were just to just, if you were to just do a search of like t-shirt mock-ups or any product that you want, you could find mock-ups to use. This particular one I bought off of Etsy um, because I do use the Printful integration with Etsy and they sell specifically, I sell Gildan shirts. So I wanted to make sure it was specifically a Gildan um, so that the actual cut and look of the shirt was, um, you know, the, the right the right style for what it was that I was selling. But if you're just looking for generic mock-ups, you can get a punt, uh, you can get a bunch of generic mock-ups off, of, uh, off of Canva. So. If you want, go ahead and check out that mock-up video. You'll find it on my channel along with a lot of other videos. So we'll be going over this today. If it's something that you're interested in, go ahead and stick around. So as usual, we're gonna start with our blank backdrop. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels and I'm going to be designing on black. So I'm going to come to the left and select black as my background color. Now this is a pretty simple design, so it shouldn't take too long to do, but it can be done a lot of different ways. So this is kind of the gnome theme. So there have been a lot of different uh, gnome designs and the most common one says, chillin' with my gnomies. Um, and so Canva offers a lot of different gnome graphics to choose from in different styles. So if I was to just come up here to elements and I can type in like garden gnome, you will see it comes up with a lot. I can filter by graphics, of course, and there are just tons and tons of different styles of gnomes and uh, gnomes dressed differently, doing different things, different seasons, different holidays. So there's a lot of ways that you can go with the whole gnome look. Um, for this one, I'm gonna be going simple. Summer is pretty much here, so we're gonna be doing kind of a summer beach uh, gnome design. So I could scroll forever. There's a lot of different ones. Here's some cute ones with sunflowers and whatnot, but I'm just going to go ahead and do beach gnome. So if I just change this up top, I'm going to search for beach gnome and that's going to filter it down a little bit. So now you can see there's a lot of different beachy looking gnomes and different styles, obviously, and some, some little effects to go with them. So what you're gonna wanna do, which, whichever thing you, you choose, make sure you always pick the same style of gnome. So for example, I'm not gonna do this style here with this style here. They don't look like they go together, right? So just show you that. You always wanna make sure that your styles 
go together. So whatever, whatever style you decide to pick, you know, stay consistently with that. Oops. And another thing you're going to see is kind of like a rule of threes. So when we do the gnome designs, there's usually three gnomes, three or more, but I like to do three across. So whatever design I'm going with, I'm going to go ahead and pick three. So I do like this guy right here because he's got the little lifesaver and I think that's cute. I like the colors of this one. I like the, the starfish and the shells. Oops, my mouse is bugging me again today. I'm just trying to shrink him down. And instead, I just keep moving him. He's going to go there and I'm going to pick a few more. Now you'll notice when you pick one, the little box down here says magic recommendations will come up. That's really helpful because a lot of times it will filter by the type or style. So it's going to give me a lot more gnomes in this style to choose from. So now you can see I've got a lot up here with sort of that nautical design. And so I like this one here because it actually says beach. So I think that's really cool. Let's see if I can shrink him way down. So now I got two that I like. And I'm just looking for one more. And there's a lot here that I like. A couple with some, some different stars on them. This one has a little anchor. That one might be better if I was doing more of a boating style design. But since I'm trying to stick with just the beach, I'm going to go ahead, maybe this one here. So now I have my three gnomes. And again, you can do this design a hundred different ways with different styles of gnomes and, um, oops, undo that. Different styles of gnomes, different themes, like, so this is the beach theme, but you could do Christmas theme gnomes, winter theme gnomes, St. Patrick's Day gnomes. And it doesn't have to say chilling with my gnomies. It could be like gardening with my gnomies or drinking with my gnomies, well, bowling with my gnomies, you know. So whatever the style is. And so, I know my mouse is really bugging me today. It's not, it's not cooperating. I think it's definitely time for a new mouse here. But there's my three gnomes and they're all kind of lined up. So now I'm gonna put some text. I'm gonna put chillin' up here on the top and then with my gnomies is gonna come down here. So I'm gonna pull up a text box. I just have to hit T on the keyboard and a text box will pop up. And the first one I'm gonna do is just gonna say chillin'. And I would like this to be in all caps. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start that way. And it just says chillin'. And so that I can see it, I'm gonna go ahead and select white for the color. Oops, mouse isn't working for me. All right, so there's my chillin'. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Oops. Not that one. Oh man, technical difficulties. Okay, well, you get the idea. Um, so Chillin's gonna go up top and then I'm gonna pull up another text box. This one's gonna say, uh, with my, and if I can move this, it's gonna come. Oh, that didn't work, right? How did that happen? Even my caps and everything aren't working right. Lose the cap locks and it's gonna say, with my, there we go. One more time, I'm gonna pull up a text box and this one's gonna say no me's, G-N-O-M-E's. Chillin' with my no me's. Oops. And it's gonna come down here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick some fonts. I want something that's big and bold because I want it to fill the space and um, I want it to be, you know, a little bit fun. One way I can go about doing this if I don't know what font I want is by selecting a style. Um, if you're going for something more decorative, display is a good one. So if I search for display, there's a lot of really cool styles here. So you can see as I just sort of play with them, a lot of different, different types of styles that you can play with. I do want something a little thicker. I like the idea of it maybe being a little bit round. And so you can see, you can kind of go through and play with all the different styles. I do actually know the ones that I'm looking for here, if I can find them. Sometimes you have to scroll for a while. This is one that I really like. Not necessarily for this design and definitely not in all caps, but that's, that's one I like a lot. 
that's kind of cool so I keep scrolling see if I can find the one that I want if not I'll just type it in this is where it helps to know your favorites but lots of different different fun ones that you can play with some textured ones I don't really want textured because the gnomes aren't textured but if I did have textured gnomes I would want textured font Chillin'. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in the ones that I'm looking for just to save a little bit of time. So there's a text called margin. And it looks like that. And I actually want it up here for this one too. So chillin'. Got my chillin' real big. I'm gonna go ahead and curve that too. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a rounded look on top, but just kind of getting it up there and getting it the size I want to begin with. Chilling with my, so that's gonna go there. Probably gonna bring it down a little bit more, but, and the Nomi's I want it to be a different font. So this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in this one too, because I think it'll take a while for me to scroll through everything again. Koftus, so. And it kind of looks like that. So that's a fun looking font. And I'm going to go ahead and make this real big. Okay. Now in terms of stylizing a design, you want to give it a little bit of a style, not necessarily just stacking the words. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this with my small. I'm going to bring my Nomi's up to the with my. And I'm going to take the with my and I'm going to kind of place it in this gap here. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it kind of fills the space. But I kind of want it to look like it's almost going, see how it's kind of in there, kind of tucked in. I like that tucked in look. So something like that, chilling with my Nomi's. So that looks good. It's big, it's bold, it's easy to read, and it takes up the space. Okay, so now another design element is we're gonna go ahead and curve this top text here. So I'm gonna come up to effects, and I'm gonna select curve. And I just wanna give it a really mild curve, something really small, but just enough to make it a little artistic. So something like that, real, real subtle. And now these letters look like they're touching each other. I would like them spaced out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do here is come up and change the spacing for the letters. So I want them to be just a little farther apart, which might mean I need to resize things. That looks pretty good just so that I can actually see a space in between them. So I might leave it like that. Nomi's if I wanted to bring it together maybe a little bit because those look a little bit farther spaced out. I can bring the letters a little closer that way. And that looks cool. And then I can go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so it takes up more of the page. So that looks cool. And then I can make my with my a little bit bigger. And I can always use the arrows on the keyboard to get this right where I want it so I don't have to fiddle with my mouse because my mouse isn't cooperating with me today. There we go. So now I got that chilling with my gnomies. I really like the way the text is turning out. I do wanna make sure that my gnomes are all centered in the way I want them, which has been a little bit challenging because my mouse is not cooperating at all, but can always again use the arrow keys if I have to to place things but it's not really going to help me with the resizing somewhere right in there is my center and then the next one I'm going to line up the bottom so they look pretty lined up make sure it takes up most of the screen take this one I'm going to line up that bottom that looks pretty cool so those actually look relatively good at this point I might make my chillin no, I like the size. I might just bring it down if I can. Maybe not. So 
I'm also going to be changing some of the colors of the text now. So I want them to pop a little bit more and I'm gonna use colors from my design itself. So I really like sort of these, the blues and the whites and those all look good. A little bit maybe of the yellow there. So starting at the top with the chillin', I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a real light blue and you can see the different shades that are coming in from the graphics that I chose. So I might go with this real light blue color up top here. And then when the with my, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe bring in some of this yellow. So something a little bit light like that. And then the last one, maybe a little bit darker blue. Maybe one of these looks good. I can go a little bit lighter, I like that. That looks pretty similar. That looks pretty similar to the top one. Okay. So there we go, I like the way that looks. So there's my design, pretty simple. It says chilling with my gnomies and I've got my beach gnomes. And so again, you can repeat this design real easily by just switching out the different styles of gnomes again. So you can change them out for different holidays, seasons, activities. We can always change the title up here from chilling to hanging to gardening to surfing to you know whatever you would want to put in here for for the design and have a say with my nomies and so i can use this as a template for for other designs so that i can kind of expand this out and again you can just pick three different gnomes as long as they're in the same style and get a completely new design and just sort of play with the colors to match whatever gnomes you choose so again the gnomes have been pretty popular lately. I've seen them a lot on different designs. So hopefully you can get creative with this and do some fun things, play with some of your fonts and some of your graphics and just make a whole bunch of cool gnome designs. Um, hopefully you found this helpful and we'll see you again. So that is it for today's video. If you found this helpful, uh, please hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.